Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I will be showing you how to install Scripted on Home Assistant OS. Uh, some benefits to installing Scripted on Home Assistant is you can use the ingress to remotely connect to the admin panel, and you don't have to set up a VPN or a tunnel or anything like that. So, um, so a little bit about this series is I'm starting a smart home from scratch and showing you how I built mine and what I've done with mine. I have about 800 plus devices and a pretty big network so um so if you want to follow along subscribe comment like and join the community uh, i started up a community called big bear community and it's down in the description thank you and let's get started so let's start out on the github page for scripted and you can see that it's a high performance home video integration and automation platform that means that you can connect non home kit certified cameras devices to uh, your home uh, app with scanning a qr code or adding it manually um, so here's the different installation med methods raspberry pi linux docker compose which i did do a video on uh, installing an importainer which is uh using stacks which is docker compose underneath so you, uh, i will link it down in the description and um, mac windows home assistant os which we will be using today um ready nice synology qnap unraid so they do have community support so you can go join that anytime you want and there's a wiki uh, for documentation. Here's the supported platforms, Google Home, Apple HomeKit, Alexa, supported accessories. And then there's the community uh, plugins and the main plugins. Um, let's go over to the Home Assistant installation. So this is the installation I've been using on a couple of videos. Uh, I, I have hacks installed, different things like that. So it's pretty fresh though so let's go over to settings down here let me open up the sidebar settings down here and then um you can go to add-ons and you can uh go down to add-on store right here and then you can go up to repositories and then now we're going to need to get that github url repository so we're going to go back over here and go to home system os and there's the repository url i'm going to go back over to home assistant and we're going to paste in the github url it will be down in the description so you can copy it anytime you want so add right here and while this is adding i'll pause it and we'll be right back so we are back and it has been installed and um in the repositories and the custom repositories so you can remove it anytime you want here then i'm going to press close right here and then you will not see it over there because you have not refreshed the page yet so i'm going to refresh the page then you will see it scripted down at the bottom or um in a different place if you have different custom repositories so you can see the ratings, host, core, it supports ingress. That makes it to where you can connect to the scripted admin panel from Home Assistant through uh, like a Navicasa or a, a tunnel that you've set up um, that you can connect on your Home Assistant app. Um, so let's go ahead and install it right here. And then I'm going to pause this and we'll be right back while it's installing. So we are back and it has been installed and now i'm going to walk you through the settings down here so start on boot that means it will start up at, uh, when you restart home assistant or anything like that we're going to say yes to that then watchdog and that's to where if the container crashes for any reason whatsoever it will restart um so show in sidebar you're going to want to show it uh the web ui over here you cannot show it if you if you're out of room over here but uh once you start it you'll get a web ui link right here so let's go ahead and start it you can uninstall it right here if you want to anytime 
So it's it's starting up and using a little bit of CPU to start, uh, a little bit of RAM, and um, you can stop anytime right here. You can restart the container. You can open the web UI like I was saying, and then you can uninstall it. Um, so let's go ahead and open the web UI. It should be booted up right by now. And it is. So we're using 0 0.23.0. And um, let's go to the management console right here. And this is a pretty normal installation of scripted. Doesn't look anything different, really. Uh, it's just inside of Home Assistant now, which is pretty cool. I like to keep as much possible inside of Home Assistant to do with the home automation as much as possible. So this is pretty cool. Um, so you can go to plugins and you can install plugins just like normal. You can go to HomeKit. Got a ring. You can install it. Um, devices right here. All automations. The same stuff, really. Users, terminal, settings. You can set your scripted address and save right there. And you can uh, install install auto update snapshot plugins you can see your cpu memory and rpc objects and that is how to install scripted on home assistant os so that right there is how to install scripted on home assistant os uh the benefit to home assistant is to where you'll have it all in one place and not just on one server like a retainer server or anything like that or or a vm or or an LXC. Um, so uh, that makes it to where it's really easy to get to and you can get through it through the ingress and um, then you can see it on your Home Assistant uh, mobile app and be able to see your cameras, what they're doing. Um, so uh, stay tuned for more.